In order to feel safe on site, we will now show you how the site functions. First, the loader digs into the blasted rock or sand and gravel face depending on the site and transports it to the primary crusher. In this particular setup, the loader dumps its bucket into a feeder. As the feeder vibrates, it slowly transports the rock into the primary crusher. For this application, an impact primary crusher is used. Using its internal rotor, the impact crusher picks up and throws the rock against curtains. In turn, the rock shatters on impact, creating the desired size stone. For most primary crushers in our fleet, the rock is generally reduced from 24 inch and below to 7 inch and below. In applications with harder stone, such as granite, we also use jaw crushers as primary crushers. This style of crusher works by compressing stone with its movable jaw against a second stationary jaw, thus duplicating the result. From here, the 7 inch minus rock travels via a conveyor belt to the bin. Every conveyor consists of a rubber composite belt that is supported by a head pulley, tail pulley, and rollers in between. The belt is engaged by electric motor at the head pulley. From here, the stone falls into a large bin with a regulated output. The purpose of the bin is to act as a buffer which prevents surges of material caused by the loaders, making a consistent feed of material to pass on to the remainder of the crushing plant. From the bin, the stone is dropped onto a screening plant. A screening plant consists of a steel box with decks of wire mesh. A screen works by throwing rock by in an elliptical motion over this wire mesh. As the stone hops down the screen, it is segregated by the various wire mesh sizes. In this application, the desired product is a 2-inch minus or granular B. Therefore, the three decks are used to capture any stone above 2 inch while leaving everything 2 inch and bellow to fall to the bottom belt. The remainder of the product above 2 inch retained on the decks is sent to the side belts and onto secondary crushing. The secondary crusher reduces the stone once more in order to produce the desired gradation. In this setup, an impact crusher is also used as a secondary crusher in order to bring the 7 inch to 2 and a quarter inch rock down to the desired 2 inch. This acts the same way as the primary crusher, but with a tighter setting in order to produce a smaller output size. Similarly, there are also multiple types of secondary crushers. Another common type of secondary crusher is the cone crusher. This works as stone falls into the top and is caught between an outer stationary cone-shaped liner, called the bowl, and a slightly smaller inner oscillating cone-shaped liner called the mantle. As the stone moves further down the chamber, this oscillating action crushes the stone by compression until it is small enough to escape out the bottom. From here, the crushed stone is brought back to screening where it is sized once more. If the stone does not pass 2 inch, then it is recirculated until it fits the proper gradation. If the stone passes the 2 inch wire mesh, then it will join the stone from the first screen to be sent out to pile. In order to get to the pile, the rock now makes its way down a line of conveyors to a final stacker. Finally, the stone makes its way up the stacker, which acts as an incline conveyor and is dropped into a stockpile.
From here, the material is ready for use to build roads, bridges, hospitals, and even your home.